The guys over at Sucker Punch took to Twitter to answer a bunch of fan questions about the upcoming release of Ghost of Tsushima and various gameplay details. WCCF Tech rounded out a lot of the interesting information, so I want to give credit to them. Link to their article in the description box below, but I do want to take a look at some of their tweets and some of the things that were said about the game because it gives us a little bit of insight as to what to expect out of the title. And also, there are a couple of good PlayStation 4 game deals on the physical side of things that I do want to highlight in just a little bit. We've been covering digital deals a lot, and I'm sure we're going to be doing that doubly so come next week when the days of play sales do start. So let's get some physical deals in there as well. But first of all, let's talk Ghost of Tsushima. It has only one ending, decapitation and body part targeting not possible within the game. So again, Sucker Punch took to Twitter and answered a lot of questions on Twitter, noting that there is no karma system. There's one story we're telling here, one journey for Jin. The game tells the story about Jin's sacrifice to become the ghost. Players can choose to primarily fight with a sword, bow, or stealth. Either way, Jin becomes a legend to the people of Tsushima and a terror to the Mongol invaders. And again, this is Jin's story. Yes, there are going to be other characters that you interact with. A lot of those characters are going to be a part of side missions and whatnot, but your story is Jin's story. Jin is the hero of this story. Players are there each step of the way, guiding Jin as he transforms from the honorable samurai he was brought up to be into the ghost that Tsushima needs him to become. As far as combat, they also went a little bit in depth on that. Jin's katana is a family heirloom and will be with him from the beginning to the end. As a lethal samurai, this is his main weapon in fighting against the invaders. The Sakai Blade is something that will grow with Jin throughout his journey. As Jin grows into becoming this feared samurai warrior known as the Ghost, so will some of his abilities and tactics. Learn to use a bow for picking off enemies at a distance, or use throwable kunai and smoke bombs at close proximity. We won't share all of these abilities before launch. We'd like to have something for players to ultimately discover. Also, players won't be able to target specific body parts. Jin's goal is just to dispatch his enemies as quickly as possible with whatever means available. Our motto for Ghost Combat is Mud, Blood, and Steel. It's gritty, visceral, and above all, lethal. It doesn't take many slashes with a katana to kill an enemy, just like it doesn't take many hits from a Mongol sword to kill Jin. It's a challenging environment to stay alive, use every weapon you have. So yes, do expect this, that if you play in the normal difficulty, it is going to be a relatively challenging game. Maybe not to the extent of like a Souls game or Sekiro or something like that, but this is a game that's not going to be a cakewalk. However, there are going to be a variety of different difficulty options, but it really does seem like Sucker Punch put an emphasis on realism, and it's not going to be a game where you can just stand in front of the other warriors and just take a bunch of slashes and then keep moving forward kind of unrealistically and just slice your way through all of the enemies. You do have to employ a few tactics here and there, and you do have to be skillful, especially if you do play at the regular difficulty option. The game does feature three levels of difficulty. You've got easy, normal, and hard on hard. The game is fair, but very challenging. Mongols are more aggressive, and players must be precise to pull off extraordinary moves. By comparison, East, e easy is for players who want to explore the island, enjoy the story, and still be occasionally tested by a worthy opponent. No matter the difficulty, we never increase the health of enemies. This is to maintain the lethality of the katana. Our combat is all about the player's skill. And also, Jin gets around Tsushima on his trusty horse and his own two legs. He can't swim out to boats and start sailing on them, so there you have it. You're gonna be on Tsushima Island for the entirety of this game. No swimming out to shore or anything of that nature, but I don't think anybody was really expecting that either. This is a game that its release is coming out very quickly July 17th and with a lot of interest being removed from The Last of Us Part 2. I know some of you guys are still excited for the game. Personally, I'm not very excited after all of the leaks, but if you guys are excited, hey, more power to you and I hope you enjoy the game. But for me, Ghost of Tsushima is a game that I think has a chance to be a very, very groundbreaking title, especially from the standpoint, I've been saying this before, but it could really be a game that establishes Sucker Punch, a second tier Sony studio and second tier in the sense of they're not as well known as a Naughty Dog even a Guerrilla Games or a Sony Santa Monica, but it, this game could really establish them as that first tier studio where their games are seen as elite level quality. I know that they have good games. Infamous was great. Infamous 1 and 2 in particular were really good. Second Son didn't like it as much, but still a pretty good game. Sly Cooper was, of course, fantastic, but this is a game that has a lot of anticipation and a lot of hype surrounding it that if it delivers from a quality standpoint because of its exposure and the excitement level surrounding this game, and if it's of quality, it's just going to establish Sucker Punch as this studio that has a lot more recognition coming out of the release of this game versus is going into it, where right now I think a lot more people are just compelled by Ghost of Tsushima from the standpoint of, oh, it looks like a really cool game in a setting that a lot of games don't explore, but coming out of it, if it is a high-quality title, then people are going to start looking at Sucker Punch as this high-quality studio. I mean, they're already a tremendous, tremendous studio that is incredibly talented. I mean, 
just play some of their other games, but they're not viewed at the level of a Naughty Dog, at least Naughty Dog pre Last of Us 2 leak, even a Gorilla Games or a Santa Monica, but I really feel like they should be viewed at that category because they're also a studio that has consistently evolved and done different franchises and different IPs, so I give them a lot of credit for that, and Ghost of Tsushima, of course, their latest one and probably their most ambitious yet. All right, moving on from that, I do want to quickly take a look at some good PS4 game deals that are available right now. Sakura Wars is seeing its first discount on Amazon. It is down to $40. Pretty good deal on this JRPG. This is one that is definitely a JRPG catered towards fans of the genre. It has a very big emphasis on character interaction and building relationship and things of that nature. The game itself also has a lot of Japanese tropes and things like that. So if you are a newcomer to JRPGs, you might be completely turned off by it. However, if you've been a fan of the genre for a long time definitely give it a look soccer wars has been a pretty good franchise we got a soccer wars game years ago i believe on the ps2 and nintendo wii and it was received really well unfortunately it didn't do all too well commercially and it was absent for a long time i don't even believe it got a release in japan but now it's back and it got a ps4 release and it's 20 dollars off at 40 bucks i think it's a pretty good buy all right next up remnant from the ashes is 10 dollars off for 30 dollars this was one of the surprising hits of 2019 going into it i was not expecting this game to be really great however it turned out to be a very very enjoyable cooperative experience cooperative shooter uh see some resemblances to souls games and things like that but obviously as a shooter it inherently has its differences and an emphasis on co-op play this is a game that's also been updated with new content 30 dollars might be seen as still a bit pricey but it was released at a 40 dollar budget price point so at that price it was already worth it and at 30 dollars i do think it's a great buy I would give that a recommendation especially if you can convince a couple of buddies to pick it up and you can jump in the game together bioshock the collection is five dollars off on amazon as well it's down to 15 dollars bioshock one two and infinite you can't go wrong with this each bioshock game essentially five dollars a pop that is really good bioshock one and bioshock infinite two of the best first person shooters of all time bioshock two not quite as good but it's also very good in its own right like if we're saying bioshock one and infinite are nine and a halves out of ten we're calling bioshock to like an eight and a half it's still very good just not quite at that elite level that bioshock one and infinite is at but the collection great value here and i would definitely recommend it and lastly grand blue fantasy versus is 20 dollars off at gamestop.com 40 dollars. i know gamestop isn't everyone's favorite retailer but hey grand blue fantasy versus has hasn't been seeing a lot of discounts so this is the first major one that i've seen so i wanted to give that a mention as well really good fighting game with a decent single player component as well if you just want to get this game because of the visual style character design and things like that it's one that actually has a pretty good component for those of you that are solo playing as well. So $40, I think, is pretty good, all things considered. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, a lot of gameplay details of Ghost of Tsushima. Check out WCCF Tech's article on that. I'll leave it in the description box below. And a lot of great deals on Amazon, as well as that Grand Blue Fantasy deal that is available on GameStop.com. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.